Sue, can you uh, bring us to compute so we can get the display up and working? Van Cheney is the chief test pilot for the new Boeing 777X, and we're about to fly Boeing's newest jet virtually in his simulator. Approximates what the pilot will really see and feel when he flies the airplane. And a lot of this is based, for now, on computerized data from testing large models in the wind tunnel. After all, the new airliner will have the longest wing of any commercial jet. And then in 2019, Cheney will begin flying the first jet That's for exactly real. Right, and we'll update this machine with the latest data that we have from the flight test program. That's exactly right. And it's pilot's airplane. So let's go. V1 and rotate. There you go. We're in a simulator known as the MCAB, which can be set up to fly like any Boeing airliner of the jet age. The displays are much larger than on the current 777, and there's a greater ability to put things like maps right in front of the pilot. The panels are now touch screens. So if you look outside, this is the vertical situation display. Pretend it's night. You can't see anything out here. And anywhere you see yellow, that means that that terrain is a threat. You could fly into something. If it's red, you're going to fly into it unless you change your course or gain altitude. It's fascinating to see the technology progress through the years and, and, and make it onto the flight deck. Frederick Lambert is Boeing's senior manager for engineering flight deck simulators. Because so much of the display is driven by software, the next step is adding in technologies like synthetic vision, not unlike the virtual vision displayed in front of us. You could see that display Correct. in the dark. Correct. And it would look like high noon. That's right. It's basically a synthetic view of the earth updated in real time. Even infrared cameras that can cut through the winter rain and fog that makes landing at a SeaTac winter tough. Uh, you can see through uh, uh, inclement weather and you can make out the runway. It's like x-ray vision. That's one of the technologies that uh, we're waiting to uh, mature and it could someday be brought aboard these airplanes with this kind of design space. So Turbulence dampening adapted from the 787. So as a passenger, uh, you have a better ride in bad weather. The first 777s hit the skies two decades ago as a game changer. This X promising to keep the 777 at that leading edge of technological change. Touchdown. In Seattle, Glenn Farley, King 5 News.